Hey guys, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today we're going to be talking about everything we know so far about Godzilla vs. Kong, and that is a lot. So make sure you watch this entire video to be completely caught up. Now before I get into it, I'm going to need you guys to like this video and subscribe for more horror or horror adjacent content. Also please consider supporting me on Patreon. You can check out all of my crazy podcasts that I do with my buddy Matt on there. The link for that will be in the description below. Alright, now let's get into it. What's your favorite scary movie? Well, I'm Pennywise, and Sinclair. Oh, no, not the beast! Not the beast! Oh, you son of a... Ah! God, don't do that. Well, sometimes, that is better. With all of these beautiful posters and all these crazy theories online, I honestly don't even know where to start this video. So let's talk a little bit about Adam Wingard, the director of the film. Wingard directed one of my favorite horror films of all time called Your Next from 2011. He also did a segment for the anthology film VHS. He does the one that's like kind of like the narrative throughout the whole movie and it like starts off with those dudes like running up to that girl in a parking lot and like they lift up her shirt. Okay, maybe he wasn't too big a fan of that one, but I did really like Your Next. Some notable cast members, at least people that I recognize, so obviously not everybody in the cast, is Alexander Skarsgård, Pennywise's big brother, Millie Bobby Brown returning from Godzilla King of the Monsters, who is of course Eleven from Stranger Things, Rebecca Hall from The Gift, or as I like to call that movie, a waste of almost two hours, and Brian Tyree Henry, who you might know from the Child's Play remake. The film's description reads, Legends collide in Godzilla vs. Kong as these mythic adversaries meet in a spectacular battle for the ages, with the fate of the world hanging in the balance. Kong and his protectors undertake a perilous journey to find his true home, and with them is Gia, a young orphaned girl with whom he has formed a unique and powerful bond. But they unexpectedly find themselves in the path of an enraged Godzilla, cutting a swath of destruction across the globe. The epic clash between the two titans, instigated by unseen forces, is only the beginning of the mystery that lies deep within the core of the Earth. Now the description's making me think of something that I was gonna talk about later, but screw it, I'm gonna throw it in right now. There's a new monster being added to Godzilla vs. Kong called Nozuki, I believe if I'm pronouncing that right? And it looks like a giant snake with wings. Now the colors of the monster is what I'm more concerned about here. This titan's colors are black and red and it kind of makes me think of like magma or fire. So like could this new titan be from the center of the earth? Like is that too crazy to theorize? Maybe a little, so let's get back on track here. Director Adam Wingard spoke about his approach for these monsters in August of 2017, stating, I really want you to take those characters seriously. I want you to be emotionally invested not just in the human characters, but actually in the monsters. It's a massive monster brawl movie. There's a lot of monsters going crazy on each other. But at the end of the day, I want there to be an emotional drive to it. I want you to be emotionally invested in them. I think that's what's going to make it really cool. Wingard also expressed his desire for the film to have a definitive winner, stating, I do want there to be a winner. The original film was very fun, but you feel a little let down that the movie doesn't take a definite stance. People are still debating now who won in that original movie, you know? So I do want people to walk away from this film feeling like, okay, there is a winner. Wingard also confirmed that the film will have many tie-ins to Godzilla King of the Monsters that kind of set up a whole lot for another movie. One of the biggest things was rebuilding Ghidorah into possibly Mecha Ghidorah. I could see him being the big bad of this movie on top of Mecha Godzilla. There's been a whole bunch of things that have basically confirmed it at this point, but the last nail in the coffin was Funko actually releasing a pop of Mecha Godzilla that I would love to get, but they're already out of stock, and holy F they look cool. One of them like has a laser beam shooting out of his mouth, like I, I want that so bad, that's so cool. So continuing to talk about new characters, we might get Mecha Ghidorah, we're also gonna get this new monster that I was just talking about, I don't know if it's gonna be like some kind of magma creature or not, that's just a theory based on like the colors of how it looks. But is there yet another character to be revealed in this movie that we haven't seen yet? Now as Wingard said in that quote though, he wanted to have a definite winner. And a lot of people, including myself, are speculating that Kong is going to win this fight. I'm going somewhere with this, trust me. My biggest theory on why Kong is gonna win is something actually really simple. Just look at the titles of every film that has come out in this universe so far. The first Kong movie was just Kong Skull Island. There's no King Kong there. He's just Kong right now. And then the last Godzilla movie was Godzilla King of the Monsters. So what happens when Godzilla fights Kong and Kong wins? He becomes the King of the Monsters. And my theory is that the next film is actually going to be titled King Kong. Now of course there is a problem with that. Toho does not want Godzilla to die in an American movie. So in their contract they 
they actually state that Godzilla cannot die in an American movie unless he has a son. So theoretically, if that is true about Kong winning and becoming the king of the monsters, we will have to see a son of Godzilla at the end of this movie. Now, if you've watched any previous Godzilla films, you know that the son of Godzilla is pretty silly looking in most of the films, especially Final Wars. He's basically like a human-sized lizard man that just kind of runs around. He's got these real big eyes. He's all cute and stuff. Something tells me they're going to take a different approach with this new movie if they do a Son of Godzilla. <laughs> I'm theorizing that this is the route they're going to go with it. I really hope if they do do Son of Godzilla, it's not like super silly. If Godzilla has a son, I want this thing to be terrifying. I don't want it to be like the size of a little kid just running around with its big eyes. It's all cute and shit. That's gross. It's nasty. I want this thing to be at least the size of like a house, like walking around, destroying stuff learning from his dad. I smell the post credit scene coming up. Another thing I want to talk about is how they're going to deal with Mechagodzilla in the film. I wrongly said in yesterday's video that the film is going to be three hours long. It's actually going to be a little under two hours. But that still leaves a lot of time for crazy sh** to happen. Like, I seriously doubt that this whole movie is just going to be Godzilla and Kong battling it out the whole time. No, I think Mechagodzilla is going to come in there. Like, I don't even think, like, at the beginning of the movie, we're going to see Godzilla yet. My theory right now is that at the beginning of the movie, we're not actually going to see Godzilla. It's going to be Mechagodzilla in Godzilla's flesh. That's kind of how they did in the old movies. He had like this fake like rubber skin on basically. I mean like the actor playing him obviously did, but Mechagodzilla was covered in like this like fake like monster flesh basically. And there's actually a point in the movie where the skin gets ripped off and it's like, oh wait, that's Mechagodzilla, not actual Godzilla. My theory right now though is that sometime in the middle of this film, Kong is going to be attacking Godzilla and he's gonna like, like hit him with his axe or something and like all this flesh is gonna come off and you're just gonna see like a robot parts underneath there. Very Terminator-esque, which is a weird thing to say about these movies. But then maybe like you see his eyes glow up red and then like all of his skin just melts off. And then suddenly you see this like red laser shoot out of his mouth and like it really hurts Kong or something. Now I do see them teaming up for a little while in this movie, but I think the ending battle is definitely going to be between actual Kong and actual Godzilla. There are some plot things that I want to talk about that I'm not really that excited about. Mainly this little girl that's able to like talk to Kong. I There's so many big monster movies that do this same idea where it's like there's like one like child who's able to speak to the giant monster. It's, it's been done a million times. That just sounds so dumb to me but like wh when I think back to the other movies in this franchise like there's a lot of really stupid plot points throughout all, all three of these movies so far. But do I really care about the plot of some of these movies? Not really. Like, what I'm really looking for in this film is giant monkey fights giant lizard, and who wins? <laughs> the plot's not gonna be great. I mean, King of the Monsters, I, I, I couldn't tell you the plot of that movie. I, I genuinely cannot. There was so much happening, there's so many characters that I just, I didn't care about. If there wasn't a monster fighting, I like, I lost interest. I, I really just wanted to see like monster battles throughout that whole movie. The human story wasn't really there in King of the Monsters. I would say like, the best human story, like, that has, doesn't have to do with the monsters so much, is like the first Godzilla in this franchise. But then the problem with that movie is it's all a human story and you don't have too many monster battles. The biggest problem this franchise has is that they're unable to balance these key elements that make these movies. So the one thing I'm really looking for in Godzilla vs. Kong is the human story being like 50% there and then 50% monster battles. Which so far I'm predicting is not exactly how it's gonna go. I think the whole movie is gonna be monster battles. The human story is gonna suck. That's my prediction. I hope it's not like that. I'm hoping for like a 50-50 mix. But we'll just have to see on March 31st or if you're an international viewer, you get to see it a week early. I just got HBO Max, so like, we're, we're gonna see, I guess. I'm just gonna check it like every day and see what happens. This is obviously a movie I will have to do a spoiler-free review of without like spoiling who wins it, of course. Godzilla could take the dub. I don't really know, man. I'm just some D-bag on the internet with some theories. Overall, I'm really excited to see a giant monkey fight a giant lizard. What do you guys think about all this? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching my video on everything we know so far about Godzilla vs. Kong. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Just look up Killjoy Jake. I'll come up. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. The more supporters I have, the more videos I can put out, basically. So if you want to help me out there, the link for that is in the description below. And as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.